market conditions remaining bullish in this bull market, sitting at a bull market rank at 22.28 and continuing to accelerate this direction. Let's take a look at uh, S&P 500. We're seeing a just a little bit of weakness here in the breadth of the market. Let's look at momentum has moved back into that bullish buy zone. It has been there now for a couple of days and uh, not quite towards the upper end of that range. Breadth here, if you look at this chart right now, you're seeing each of these highs, these spikes here, this initial move, this is S&P 500. This is going back to October. So this is a full one year chart, seeing uh, a lot of participation Then this next rally, a little less participation and this less rally, a little less participation. So these are the number of stocks that are in uptrends or have buy signals. And you're seeing that those are uh, continually weakening in this uh, as the market is topping out here or continuing this rally uh, that uh, you know that t it could mean it could mean there's two sides to that coin and that is there's going to be more participation that comes into the market or there's o only a few participate participants into this rally moving higher and everybody else is on the sideline uh, we'll see which one wins over right here we are seeing some weakness in the buy sell ratio still less than 1.91 you can see that or that uh, red line just slightly higher than the red line and or excuse me the the red line slightly higher than the green line uh, relatively flat right here sentiment sitting uh, 68. So there is some room to run to the upside on sentiment. Let's look at S&P 500. Uh, we saw um, decent support here, a little bit of a bottoming tail bar yesterday, still holding in that momentum zone. And uh, we did see uh, of note, uh, bonds going yesterday, selling off significantly, 1.43. We've been talking about those. That's one one to keep an eye on today to see if it does hold up in this area. If not, it could be a reversal and can continue sliding to more uh, for more downside, uh, meaning interest rates moving higher. That's an interesting uh, move yesterday. There's one other one in oil that we'll go over here in just a minute. We looked at S&P 500. Let's look at Dow while we're here because we're seeing the, those Dow stocks really retrace and pull back. Finding some possible support right here at this 236, but Dow showing some weakness. Uh, let's look at NASDAQ 100 as well. NASDAQ 100. So tech holding up some of those large cap Dow type names uh, weakening and S&P relatively flat. Uh, let's look at oil. As I mentioned, some of these sectors and commodities uh, the sector ETFs continuing to show kind of broad based weakness right here or broad based indecision. Just about everything stuck right here in this middle range hold, which is a kind of that non trending move where it's a transition over into a trending move from hold to a buy or from a hold back down to a downtrend of a sell. All short term trends down right here. Commodities. Uh, silver had a nice pop yesterday at 5%, finding that support in that momentum zone and then getting a big rally. Uh, gold didn't rally quite as much, and at least not as much as silver, but it did move higher by a percent. And then also oil, USO did have a big move, 3%, and moved back up. This support area that we've been talking about right here uh, just gapped right back up above all of that. So let's watch to see oil now for a day or two and see if it does hold this support range. That could be a, a headwind for the market here at bonds as well. So those two things where we're seeing oil move back up, bonds moving back down, and those could be uh, areas of the that are going to uh, be significant going forward today and into this next week. Uh, let's take a look at some muscle stocks in this list, seeing AAY, or excuse me, uh, the new buy list, APP, AppLove. And this has been a stock that's been in a nice uptrend, had a big gap and a retracement, a little bit of a move higher yesterday. Uh, and also MREO, which is in that medical biotech space, big move higher. Also some confirmation volume, big, nice volume uh, on that pattern as well. And let's look at one other here, UEC Uranium. This is one that, if you go out to that one-year time frame, it's trying to hold up in this upper range right here and possible breakout around that $8 range. And Uranium is still in play and will I think is going to be in play with energy and uh, the way that the world needs that energy. We're continually looking for sources in Uranium. And it's obviously that nuclear source. Uh, and a nice pattern sitting right here. That'll do it for today's update. Everyone have a fantastic day today.